Assalamualaikum and very good afternoon to all of you. Welcome back to our class. Today I will discuss about the seismic design of reinforced concrete buildings, part 2B. In this part, we will take, uh, we will look on the seismic cases and then the ductility classes. Okay, for seismic cases. According to this clause in Eurocode 8, clause 3.2.1 in bracket 4, in cases of low seismicity, reduce or simplified seismic design procedures for certain types or categories for structures may be used. Okay, for, uh, okay, it is recommended to consider as low seismicity cases are the those in which the design ground accelerations on type A ground alpha g is not greater than 0.08 g or those where the product of alpha g times s is not greater than 0.1 g so for this category okay, alpha g times s must be not greater okay not greater than 0.1 g less than or equal to 0.1 g this is for low seismicity cases okay in cases of very low seismicity the provisions of Eurocode 8 need not be observed okay it means it is recommended to consider as very low seismicity cases either those in which the design ground accelerations on type a ground alpha g is not greater than 0.04 g or those where the product of alpha g times s, s is the salt factor, is not greater than 0.05 g. Okay, for these cases, alpha g times s not greater than 0.05 g means this is a very low seismicity. Therefore, we can uh, simplify all that statement in this table. If the alpha g times s is less than or greater than 0.5 g, it is under category of very low seismicity and uh, seismic design is not required at that region. So, we don't have to refer to Eurocode 8 and no behavior factor involved. For design but if the product of alpha g times s is greater than 0.05 but less than or equal to 0.1 g so it is under category of low seismicity region so we for in terms of ductility we propose ductility class low and we only refer to eurocode 8 uh, eurocode 2 for design and the behavior factor we refer to class 4.3 in Eurocode 8. However, if the product of alpha g times s is greater than 0.1 g, it is under category of medium or high seismicity cases. So, in terms of that we propose the that class medium or that class high, and we refer to Eurocode 8 for the design, which is for detailing. And the behavior factor we refer to class 5.2.2.2 in Euro code 8. However, since Malaysia only consider that class low and medium, so no that no high that class or in Malaysia. Okay, as an example, here is example number one. Determine the seismicity cases for site one and site two shown in page one. Okay, this is site number one, and this is the site number two. In site number one, the salt type considered is salt type B, and the importance factor is 1.5. Okay, can you give me an example of what building uh, can be considered in importance factor 1.5? Example of building. Fire station. Fire station, good. Another building? Uh, 
Another building in hospital. Yes, good hospital. Okay, for site two, which is soil type D, the important factor uh, we propose for the building is one point two. Can you give me example? Okay, let's say this one is a uh, fire station. Another one is hospital. Okay, can you give me example of importance class two, uh, three? School and condominium. Okay, school and condominium, good. Okay, so let's take a look on example number one. This is uh, from... Uh, Peninsula, this is a seismic as a map for peninsula. So we refer the table of uh, salt factor for peninsula Malaysia. Okay, and then for salt type B, what is the salt factor? S is equal to? So type B, B. 1.4. Okay, good. 1.4. Okay. 1.4. So what is the alpha GR? Alpha GR is equal to what? what? Seven ga. Seven ga. Zero point seven. 0.07 Unit is? G Okay, G Okay, let's see Okay, this is uh, 4 Okay, this is 4 This should be 5, right? 5 And then this is 6 Okay, good try Thank you Okay, it's equal to 6% of G So it's equal to 0 0.06 G Okay, and then the importance factor is given as 1.5. Therefore, the product of alpha G, alpha G is equal to gamma I. I hope you still remember these equations. Times alpha GR, so equal to 1.5 times 0.06 equal to 0.09. Okay, 0.09 G. Therefore, alpha G times S equal to 0.09 times 1.4 equal to 0.126. Okay, 0.126 G. This is greater than uh, 0.10 G. So, this is under, under category what? What category? refer to this slide so greater than 0.1 g is under medium seismicity so medium seismicity cases medium seismicity cases so we propose the ductility class medium for design okay so how about this one I hope you can do by your own and then uh, give me the answer later. Okay, so type B, impulse factor 1.2, and then the soil class you can find from this uh, from this table. Okay, and then this is about the ductility classes. For low dissipation capacity, we refer to low ductility. Okay, low ductility class is recommended only in low seismicity cases. And then for high and medium ductility cases, so we pro, uh, for, for low and medium seismicity cases, we propose the uh, sorry for for medium and high ductility cases, uh, for 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 medium and high seismicity cases, we propose the ductility class medium and ductility class high, respectively. 
Okay, so you can refer to this class later. Okay, that's all for this class. Thank you so much. See you again in next video. All the best. Bye-bye.